I just gave away one of my favorite DVDs. Oh man. Oh well. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? You've decided, oh, I'll give away something, and then suddenly you start to kind of think, maybe have double thoughts, second thoughts, doubts, like maybe, wait a minute, I had memories with this thing. I mean, I love it, I can't give it away. <laughs> well, you know, I had that thinking about that word generous. Generosity. Is generosity because you have so many stuff that you can just give away whatever you have anyway because you don't need it? Or is it giving something that's really important to you? I don't know. I think I want to need to look at God for that. Finally, when we think about, you know, settle this issue between money and me, I want to look to God and think about what does, what does He think? How does what is his picture of being generous? Okay, let's pray. Lord, you know what? It's hard. Life is hard. We kind of want to fight for stuff because we don't have much and we need things. We want things. But giving away stuff? Now that's mind-blowing. So please, we need you, Holy Spirit, to speak to us about that. May it be for your honor and glory. As we pray in Jesus' name, amen. So why don't we give him honor and glory by worshiping him right now? Okay, see you at the word. Hello kids! I'm excited that you guys are all here! Welcome to Kids Church for All Ages. My name is Teacher JC. And I'm Teacher Annika. Today, we want to give a shout out to our friends, Paul Kobe Quinto, hello, Ben Bautista, Chrome's Jazzer, Creed Jovial, and Crick's Jaden Cruz, hello. Hello, and happy birthday to Liam Bertiz, and hi to his sister Mia and Laura Dolores. Hello, welcome back. And if it's your first time, we are glad to have you here today! Today is a very special episode because we, we are, are going, going to visit, visit our friends in Destiny's, Destiny's Promise. Promise. So for those of you who don't know, Destiny's Promise is a home for kids who are looking for their forever families. And while they haven't found permanent homes, yet this home provides them a place to belong. Yes. And these kids have been attending our services for quite some time now. You may see some of them during our craft time. Because they are very special to us, we decided to visit them today. Yes, and we're taking all of you with us. So let's, let's go. go! This is Destiny's Promise Home for Children Foundation. Our team learned that this home needed a few things like diapers for the babies and different supplies for the bigger kids. We visited them and did the mini service for them. We did the iconic praise dance of teacher Annika. We sang worship songs for God. We listened to his word. We even had game time with the kids and their guardians. As we have been receiving blessings, we wanted to share those blessings to them as well. As the service was about to end, we surprised them with toys and board games, aside from the supplies we donated. We had a whole morning of fun, joy, and laughter! That was a different kind of experience. I love seeing the kids even if they were meters away. Yeah, and when we gave the surprise raffle and uh, they received their gift bags. I know, oh. I was so happy seeing them happy. Alright, how about you kids? So, you like giving gifts or blessing others? You know, it may be a challenge for us to give. And as we talked about generosity today, we will be looking at some verses in the Bible where giving is compared to planting, planting seeds. seeds. You can practice generosity, especially this Christmas season, by sharing your blessings to others, like to the kids in this orphanage right here. You can give household consumable products like diapers, toiletries, food, or even pre-loved clothes and toys that are still in very good condition. You guys can drop this off at every nation building. So should you wish to give them directly to the orphanage in Tai Tai Rizal, please email us at kidschurch at victory.org.ph. 
so we can give you the address. Those who wish to donate cash can also email us here at this email address. And we will email you giving instructions. For security purposes, we will only disclose their location and contact person to those who email us. So, Teacher Annika, what are we gonna do next? Now, let's watch this video and listen to the words. Let's go! Dude, happy birthday, JJ! Happy birthday! So excited to eat spaghetti, man. Man, there's no joy, but there's chicken joy. Savage! Yeah. Hmm. Are, are you okay, birthday boy? Or do you prefer birthday boy? Wow, he's not even correcting my acting. So cool. Is he lagging or something? Uh, he looks kind of catatonic. <sighs> I, I can't take it anymore. I've got to share my problem, man. I, I wanted to treat you guys to your favorite food and stuff, and I also wanted to get the pen tablet for my digital drawing. I realized I don't have enough money for both. Tablet? Friends? Friends? Tablet? God is the one who gives seed to the farmer, and he gives bread for food. And God will give you all the seed you need and make it grow. He will make a great harvest from your goodness. God will make you rich in every way so that you can always give freely. And your giving through us will cause many to give thanks to God. This service that you do helps the needs of God's people. It is also bringing more and more thanks to God. The service you do is a proof of your faith. Many people will praise God because of it. They will praise God because you follow the good news of Christ. The gospel you say you believe. They will praise God because you freely share with them and with all others. And when they pray, they will wish they could be with you. They will feel this because of the great grace that God has given you. Thanks be to God for this gift that is too wonderful to explain. Uh, uh, uh. Aha! I got it, bruh. I know you you were excited to party and stuff, but the Holy Spirit reminded me of two, 2 Corinthians chapter 9. So after I died back to God, I believe he wants me to give to the orphanage so that these other dudes can celebrate, you know? Hey, JJ. This is for you. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Wait. Wait, wait. What? What? Yeah, we knew you were gonna do something cool with your loot, bro. So we chipped in, so we can celebrate anyway. Spaghetti styles. And guess what? Your dad has something for you. And I think it's under your table. Wait. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Whoa! 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 Wait! Hold up! Oh, wait! Wait! <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I feel like celebrating, guys. It's first time JJ goes with Schlitz. <laughs> so, when are we moving this party to the orphanage? <laughs> Can it be cod themed? Yeah. Three, two, one. experienced receiving a gift from a family, a relative, or a friend? It feels good, right? Now think of something you can give to someone, like an extra pair of shoes, a bag, food, or toys. I'm sure you'll feel better when you give than when you receive. Now you know what is the best thing we can give to God right now? Our worship! So let's all stand Worship God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Jesus, my Savior, lover of my soul, your 
I'll pray. Dear Abba Father, thank you so much for lavishing us with so many wonderful blessings. And I pray that we would use these blessings to bless others as well. I pray that with what we have, we'll be able to honor you by extending your love to the people around us. Thank you for this time of worship. We love you and offer this time to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Another way we can worship God is through our giving. So you may give your tithes and offering by following the instructions flashed on the screen. Hi everyone, guess what? It's only 27 days till Christmas. How many of you guys are excited for Christmas? I am. I'm so excited for Christmas. Christmas is one of my most favorite celebrations of the year where we get to remember Christ and what he came here on earth to do. But currently we are on our fourth week of our Money and Me series. And I hope you're learning a lot so far about what the Word of God has to say about our money. But before that, I want to give a shout out to Nina and Lizzie Kilala, to Josiah and Elijah Toha, as well as to Fairy Hibanada. And to everyone, again, hello and welcome once again to Kids Church. I'm Pastor Bojo, by the way. And uh, uh, today's uh, story can be found in 2 Corinthians 9, where Paul, talking about money, and he relates it to farmers. You see, he says how a farmer, if they plant little, one, two, three, then they're going to have a little harvest. But if they plant a lot, you know, hundreds and thousands, then they're going to have a huge harvest. And he also points out that the seed of the farmer is given by the Lord. And so the same thing is true for us. The money that we have, the blessings that we have is all from the Lord. And we too can give, we too can be generous because of God who was generous to us as well in the blessings that he has poured out into our lives. You see, when we can give to God through our local churches or 
to the people that God has called us to give. And that could be to somebody who may be in need that God has led us to give this amount of money to. Or it can even be uh, uh, for people who are in the missions field who God has told us, maybe let's give this amount of money to that person who is advancing God's kingdom and sharing the gospel to people in that nation. Okay, but here's the thing about giving. When you have been given, let's say, 100 million, no, just 100 pesos, okay, sometimes we can feel that, but all the things that we can buy with this money, oh, I can buy that, I can buy this, I can buy all the candy in the world, uh, maybe, maybe a few candy. But uh, you may think that, oh, this is it's not enough for what I need, uh, so I won't give. Here's the thing. We give to God with a cheerful heart, knowing that He has generously poured out and given us so much. We don't give reluctantly. What's reluctantly is where we're like, uh, you know, you're, you're hesitating, you're, you're fighting maybe with yourself. Like, give, why not give? Like, give, why not give? Okay, we don't give with, you know, uh, upsettingly, you know, where we're like, okay, fine, I'll give this money to God because I have to give this to God. Okay, the Bible says God loves a cheerful giver. And so we give out of a cheerful heart, knowing that God has generously given us His Son and so much more, so, so much more. And here's the thing about giving. You know, giving will help us grow in our faith. Giving will help us grow in our character. Giving uh, uh, will help us grow because it's something that pleases the Lord. We give out of faith, we give out of obedience as according to His Word. You know, like I mentioned earlier, Christmas is just around the corner. And uh, maybe some of you might be uh, getting a lot of uh, gifts, uh, a lot of uh, money as gifts, maybe, hopefully, praying, standing with you in faith. Um, but more than what you receive, I want you to come before God and ask Him, Lord, how can I be generous this Christmas season? How can I give what I have uh, to those who need? How, how can I give and, and ble be a blessing to those around me? It can be towards your family. It can be towards a friend or maybe somebody that the Lord is leading you towards to uh, bless them with, with whatever it is that you have. You see, our power truth tells us that God has blessed us to be a blessing. He has blessed me to be a blessing. Can you repeat that after me? God has blessed me to be a blessing. God has blessed you to be a blessing. And our power verse tells us in 2 Corinthians 9, 8, God can bless you with everything you need and you will have more than enough. Listen to that. You will have more than enough to do all kinds of good things for others.
You know, God is our best example when it comes to generosity. God gave his one and only son to die on the cross for you and I. And that is something that we don't deserve at all. Yet God willingly, graciously, lovingly gave up his son for you and for me. And for that, we can always be grateful. We can always move with a heart of generosity, knowing that not only has God given us his son, not only has he given us a right, a, a, a righteous life to be able to have a right standing with him, but he has poured us so much blessings. He has given us so much more than what we can ever deserve. And my prayer is that we will also move in that same uh, spirit of generosity and love towards God's purposes and towards the people around us. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for your great love for us, for generously and willingly giving up your son for each and every one of us so that we can have a right standing with you, a righteous life, Father God. And I pray, Lord God, that we too, Lord God, with whatever we have, the money that we have in our possession, Lord God, may we move with a heart of generosity, a spirit of generosity, Lord God. May we move in obedience and faith, Lord God. If you call us to give towards this person, to bless these people, Lord God, just as the power verse says, Lord, you have blessed us to be a blessing. And may that be true in our lives, Lord God, that we are blessed people. And as we are been blessed, Lord God, may we be a blessing to others as well. And Lord, we thank you. We give you honor today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. See you guys next time. Wait, don't leave yet. It's me, it's your mailing. This is the last week of our series called Money and Me. Do you still remember our power truth? God has blessed me to be a blessing. One way we can be a blessing to others is through our generosity. For example, I know teacher Jaycee has been a bit down lately, so I got him some popcorn, his favorite. Whoa, thank you, Teacher Maylene. This is my favorite popcorn. For our family con, the questions are, how do you feel when you receive a gift? And how would you feel about giving a gift? That's all for today. See you next week. Bye. Welcome to Craft Time with Teacher Plum. That's me. Shout out to my friends who are worshiping with us now. Japet and Jethro, buen dia. Luigi and Daniela Valencia. Izzy Liave. Aisha and Jericho De Castro from Santa Rosa. Hi kids. I'm so excited that you're here. Remember, last week we made beautiful bank books of life to remind us to always be contented. Let's take a look.
everyone. I hope that you continue to put in all the things that you're grateful for inside your bank books of life. Now, we learned today that we should be generous with what we have. And to remind us to be generous with what we have, let's make this craft. We are going to be needing some wrapping paper. So this is just extra wrapping paper I have from last year's Christmas season. We'll also need some tape. And that's about it. You can also use some stickers if you have stickers at home or maybe colored paper to seal your craft. Now let's begin. First, let's take our piece of paper. Next, let's take both ends and put them on the center. And we can tape these together like this. So take our tape. So what I, what I like to do is put my tape here and take a long piece of tape and just put it over like this. Now we can use some scissors to cut off the extra tape or we can just tape it inwards inside the bag. So we are actually gonna make a gift bag today. So now that we have this, Let's take our hands and just press it down. So your craft should look like this so far. See it? So this is gonna be where you insert your gift. But we're not done yet. The next step is to take this side and fold it inwards around one inch. And repeat for the other side too. Your gift bag should look like this. Now flip it over and fold it again so your folds are nice and crisp. So you know when you have wrapping paper at home but they're too small or they're an awkward size, you can always convert those wrapping papers into gift bags. You never know what you can put inside. Now that we have this over here, the next thing that we want to do is take the bottom part of your gift bag and fold it upward. And this will become the base of our gift bag. You see it? Now, this part is quite tricky. From the base, take one side and fold it downward so it opens up and the sides form two triangles. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Ta-da! So first it looked like this and then we took one side and we just folded it downward until both sides form triangles. This will become the bottom of our gift bag. Now take both ends and fold them into the center. So it, they look like this. And to secure it, let's take our tape. Put one piece here. And of course, let's put tape on the sides too. To make sure that nothing falls out of our gift bag. And we're almost done. Let's just take our hand and let's start to unfold our gift bag. And now we are practically done with our gift bag. So if you wanna put some gifts inside, for example, I'm gonna give this to my friend. This is a pack of crayons and some magic tape. So just put them inside and then we can now fold the edges 
make two folds like this. Let's take a piece of tape to secure it and to make sure that it doesn't open on its own. Of course, it looks a bit plain right now. So let's take some stickers and let's decorate our bag and I'll be right back. And ta-da! I'm now done decorating my gift bag. So I used some red paper to put a bow on top. And of course, because I love dinosaurs, I put dinosaur stickers all over. And now we are done! We can use these as gift bags as you prepare gifts for your loved ones this Christmas. Or you can also fill it with goodies like, I don't know, snacks, candies, toys, or any nice item at home that you can give away to others. Maybe you know someone who needs it. Like a homeless person that you pass on your way to visit your relatives. Or maybe you can give it to a shelter for disadvantaged kids, just like the one we visited today. Or you can even send it to a sick person you know who needs some cheering up. When we share what we have, we are imparting God's love and this causes the receiver to give thanks to God. Remember our lesson? Generosity. And that's it for our craft time for today. Don't forget to send your versions of this craft to our email address flashed on the screen. I am excited as always. Photos sent to our email address will be automatically featured in next week's online worship service. And you will also gain one raffle entry for our raffle for the month of November. Today is actually the last week. So parents, please take your photos in portrait mode and submit them by Monday 5 p.m. Philippine time. See you next week, kids. Remember to be generous.